Let's use the X-Pan and Morphogene together to create some stereo motion within our reels. We'll start with a simple technique for making a splice pan smoothly from left to right from beginning to end. In the Morphogene's options file, I have set it to record only the input and the CV out to generate a ramp wave time to the gene length. Here we have a short recording of the words moving from left to right. If this phrase is referring to the recording, then it is currently a lie because the recording itself is statically centered in the stereo field. We'll molt the Morphogene's output to the input of the X-Pan and patch the X-Pan's outputs back to the inputs of the Morphogene. Left to right, moving from left to right, moving from left to right, moving from. Now we will also patch the CV output to the X pan pan input, causing the X pan to fade this sound from left to right in perfect time with the splice. Because we are currently monitoring with SOS fully clockwise, we do not hear the results. But let's record this into a new splice. Left to right, moving from left to right. I have also set the record option to record into new splice using a gate at the record input. Moving from left to right, moving. Now we can hear that the new splice travels left to right in the stereo field, in time with its travel from the beginning to the end of the splice. Left to right, moving from left to right, moving from left. If we shorten the genes, we will hear that the slide control now doubles as a pan control traversing the splice's contents in time and space simultaneously. And of course, slide can be modulated as usual. For example, choosing a random space-time location for each new gene by using EOSG to clock the woggle bug. Similarly, the clock input propels the sound from left to right as it traverses through the splice. Left to We can also spread out the location of a gene by cranking up the morph control, which adds pan randomization to individual genes at its highest settings. Cyclical complex modulation sources like the math's sum output can chart complex but legible paths through this space time. Of course, this transformation will have similar results regardless of the sound we are applying it to. In the next video, we'll expand on this basic concept.